welcome to Engage with the Word. You are on week six of the theme, Gratitude. Um, this is the time that we search other parts of scripture where we read, learn, and apply the message that God has for us today. And it's an opportunity to find our story in his story. I was going to say through his story, either way. Um, so join me now as we read 2 Timothy 1 to 13. And while I read this, take some note on what Paul's main point is in this passage. All right, so join me as I read 2 Timothy 2, 1 to 13. Timothy, my dear son, be strong through the grace that God gives you in Christ Jesus. You have heard me teach things that have been confirmed by many reliable witnesses. Now teach these truths to other trustworthy people who will be able to pass them on to others. Endure suffering along with me as a good soldier of Christ Jesus. Soldiers don't get tied up in the affairs of civilian life, for then they cannot please the officer who is enlisted, who enlisted them. And athletes cannot win the prize unless they follow the rules. And hardworking farmers should be the first to enjoy the fruits of their labor. Think about what I'm saying. The Lord will help you understand all these things. Always remember that Jesus Christ, a descendant of King David, was raised from the dead. This is the good news I preach. And because I preach this good news, I am suffering and have been chained like a criminal. But the word of God cannot be chained. So I will be will so I am willing to endure anything if it will bring salvation and eternal glory in Christ Jesus to those God, God has chosen. This is a trustworthy saying. If we die with him, we will also live with him. If we endure hardship, we will re reign with him. If we deny him, he will deny us. If we are unfaithful, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny who he is. And that's that's absolutely beautiful. That, that's really beautiful when I think about that. So we see that Paul is telling Timothy again, which we've seen earlier in Timothy, that he just keeps telling Timothy, hey, be strong and endure suffering along with me. That's what Paul's saying. Um, Timothy's obedience should be motivated by reflecting on the good news and looking to Paul as an example. So how do we react to sufferings? I mean, do we call on God? Do we have, do we, uh, do suffering with full conviction that we are Christians? Um, or do we worry about it? Do we struggle? Um, do we try to take things into our own hands? Have you ever suffered for Christ? Have you ever had to stand up because you're a Christian? What would you say? What would you do? So, one, be sure to write these down and be sure to um, take Paul's words and put them into practice into your life. I know I have had instances where I've had to stand up for being a Christian. I've had people make fun of me for being a Christian. They mock me or they... Um, reference like things that I do as a Christian. Um, and it's hurtful because sometimes it comes from people that I love. So in those instances, one, I pray that God gives me strength to not react to how they are toward me. Because usually when I'm hurt, I have this natural instinct to, to want to hurt back because I'm hurting. I want them to feel that. But that's not what God wants us to do. That is not the Christian lifestyle. What 
we're called to do is turn to him and pray for our, our friends, pray for our family, pray for the people that are hurting us. And let God be the judge on that, not us. So think on that. Think on how you would respond. Think on if you do respond like how I would or, or um, maybe tempted like how I was to react. How can you, in those instances, turn to God and say, you know, I need to pray for these people because they're hurting me. So be sure to uh, put that into your journal and um, put Paul's words into practice. So let's pray. Dear Lord in heaven, thank you so much for showing us the importance of carrying on your work, your message. I pray that you continue to strengthen us during tough times and encourage us to keep pressing on as our great reward is with you in heaven. Lord, thank you for your love and instruction. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Blessings.